Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on BMNG Drive Multiplayer Mods with another episode of Stop the Beast. The Beast today is a fire truck. Yeah, this is going to be a tough thing for uh, those giving chase to kill. Now, the objective for this first round, I have 10 minutes to uh, try and survive while a bunch of fairly bog standard low spec cars are going to be trying to stop me. If I survive the 10 minutes I win, they are allowed to respawn an unlimited amount of times, but if the car wrecks, they have to wait 30 seconds before they respawn it. So it keeps it vaguely fair. We are going to start the timer. We are going to set off. Oh, and my headphone cable got tangled around my controller. Well, they've caused some problems already for themselves. God dear. Uh, <laughs> see, this is the thing with the fire truck, right? It's quite strong. <laughs> it's really strong. That's why we have an unlimited amount. There are there are a couple of concerns. It is really tough, but there are a couple of concerns. Concern number one is they could block the wheels up with bits of bodywork. Concern number two is they could roll me through heavy cornering. Uh, that is a legit possibility. Uh, they could manage to push me into like a tree or something uh, with enough of them. Oh, that one's made an attempt. Oh, it's found a tree. That's had a bad time for, was it Grand Marshal, I think? Uh, there is, what was that? Uh, is that the Tograk having a look around, thinking about doing something? That was an ice series that's had a bad day, and the Tograk's going to find a tree, and that's in pieces. And then there's a Widgeon having a look. Their first attempts haven't been great. Most they've done is put a bumper on the side of me. We're not very good coming up the hill. This is where we could come under threat. They've bent the front end in. The front end is a little bit battered in all of this. Um, like, the front, I guess, passenger door area is a little bit broken. Uh, we're going to go this way now. Would you like to come this way? Oh, little Piccolina. Oh, this is a narrow... I don't think this was the road I really wanted to go down. <laughs> So what are we going to do? I'm a little bit worried about the tyres at this point. Uh, right. Here we go. Out of the way. Oh, Christ. I mean, it's going to bend. Like, the more we do this, the more the unstoppable force is going to bend and buckle. You can see it's already got kind of a puncture in the front. So, yeah, we know this is a stupidly strong vehicle, right? We know it's going to take a hell of a lot to be... Uh, Oh, I could have been meaner to that. Uh, we will give the... What is it? Pazima a bit of a bump around. Uh, I can't turn. I've got to be careful with turning, because, as I said, it is a legit concern. We could fall over. Oh, something has fallen over back there. Uh, yeah. That's the hit that's actually a bit scary. Is they're hitting to the side of us like that. I mean, if they keep hitting us, they could get the radiator. Um... That seemed quite... Oh! Like that. That is the hit that we're very concerned about. Now, if I can... Fire it up. Come on. Find some traction. Can it find some traction? Oh! It has found some traction. We have sat on a widgeon at that point. Um... Oh, now what do I do? I've got a widgeon stuck under me. I can't actually get off the widgeon. Widgeon! You're coming. I don't know why I'm touching the steer. Oh, no. I have got the wheels on the ground. I've got a wheel on the ground. Widgeon, you're coming with me. Uh, widgeon. Widgeon. You're very annoying. I mean, like, it's it's difficult. Oh. Oh. <laughs> widgeon shuffled about. <laughs> can I... Can I wipe the widgeon off on a curb, do you reckon? Do you reckon if we just kind of, like, drag it across a curb, it'll, like, fall off? It'll get caught on something. Um, because I have some steering. It's not really enough, though, uh, to aim anywhere successfully. Uh, right. Widgeon? No, because that's just a lamppost there. I was really hoping it was gonna... F it was gonna fall off from underneath. Uh, I guess we're going for a chase with a widgeon... Uh... Oh, I, can't, I can only turn. I can't really turn left. I can turn right. Ah, oh, here's a curb. Here is a beautiful curb. Wipe the widging out from underneath us, please. Uh, it wasn't as good of a curb as I wanted, particularly, was it? What about this curb here? Can this curb do it? Nope. 
<laughs> I think it shuffled it somewhere. Maybe. Oh, uh, it's definitely not right in here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to get pinned. It was just trying to free the widgeon from underneath us uh, in this. Uh, yeah, if the widgeon was gone, we could do it. But uh, the wreck of the car getting stuck underneath us is the problem at the end of the day. Oh. What the hell happened there? I think something hits from behind, really, and has bent us all out of shape. <laughs> Well, it has been stopped. It has been stopped. And it, it was the hit that I was worried about. It was a cornering roll antics that started it all. Uh, but yeah, debris actually getting stuck underneath the truck is a real problem. It's a hell of a banana chassis we have going on here. So, things did not go to plan that, uh, that well in my first attempt here. We managed to fail spectacularly against vehicles we really should have not been... been losing to. We shall see. Apollo also agrees that we failed spectacularly. Um, we will see how this all pans out, really. Oh, the falling over is the real concern. Uh, we know... <laughs> Hello! Uh, it was really tempting. Uh, I should have gone and crashed into some stuff there, uh, to be honest. Apollo, there's... I don't even know what you're barking at. Probably someone walked past the house out the front. They're allowed to do that, moron. Um... Yes, there is a lot of vehicles giving chase. They're lightly upgraded. I am upgraded as well. I have a big old turbo now on this, which is good. Uh, I, it's going to make me faster, make us more difficult to catch, and we will hit harder. Uh, we don't turn very well. That is noticeable here. Well, cars do get a little bit stuck on, like, the overhangs. Uh, oh, nearly managed to swipe that into something important. See, I can't go for last-minute turns because torpedoes are actually a real problem. Oh, the other rule, it has changed for those giving chase. They are now only allowed to respawn. So they've got to be more careful with their approach. Uh, if they go too aggressive and lose too many lives early on, you know, they're going to be out of cars trying to chase me down. Uh, I am, weirdly, all the cars, the widget is actually the one that I am more scared of currently because it can get stuck underneath us. And we saw the problems that that brought last time. Uh, I want to go this way now, folks. Yep, we are going this way. I don't know what your plans are. Oh, the hopper had an issue with the bus stop. Half expected something to go flying down that hill towards us. There was something trying. It definitely was trying. Uh, we will have the burn side hit the back of us. That was what we wanted. A brake check on the burn side. It's poorly. It's smashed up a bit. Uh, there is the D-series heading along. We've still got a bolide giving chase. Um, <laughs> we're giving a knock on the way up the hill. Uh, we are currently just sort of swinging, we're just a pendulum swinging from side to side, trying to knock anything out of the way that dares, dares get close. The widget is a bit further back. Oh crap, maybe don't get too much airtime in the truck. Oh, my brakes are overheating, so that could be a thing that actually causes us grief. Oh, Pigeon did give us a whack. Uh, right. Now it's our turn. <laughs> <laughs> now it's our turn to go on the offensive. That's a crunch. <laughs> that is a crunch and a half on that. Uh, oh, Bolide actually timed that one pretty well. Got a good ramp on it. Burnside is going to want to run away. Widget! Okay, well, we've killed a Widget. Definitely a Widget loss. Now which is currently playing jousting slash chicken. Oh, I've stalled. Uh, well, that's annoying. <laughs> Ruined my game of jousting, although we have made a big mess of things back there, basically. I'd say that's a win-win in some ways. Oh, the D-series, a torpedo from that could kill us, or could roll us and get us stuck. So that is something I've got to be careful of. Now, I'm fully expecting a car to be running up this hill here, if they've figured out what way to go. So, uh, that's the narrow hill. Never mind. Uh, I would not necessarily expect them to go down here. Oh, we're going up on two wheels again. Got to be careful with that. I've got to be careful with that. Uh, hello, Hopper. Oh, it's probably not the sight you wanted to see there, was I? <laughs> with banana to yellow Hopper. <laughs> it's still going. I'll give it credit for trying. Oh, <laughs> friendly fire. <laughs> oh, I've got my steering's a little bit bent. <laughs> 
Oh, that's quite funny. All right, go on then, fire truck. Yeah, the widgeon did not want to get involved with that. The hoppers freaked out and tried to run away. Oh, we have gone a lot more aggressive on this one. I've actually got to be careful. I've eaten most of the pazima. Uh, and that is a smidge bit of a concern. I'm kind of dragging it along with me. I think we have got rid of it now. Uh, oh, I didn't actually want it to be a manual, but never mind. Uh, we are back into a manual gearbox mode. The widget, oh, the widget is poorly behind us, but I... Weirdly, that's the car I am most scared of chasing us. It's not... Oh, my brakes are getting very hot. It's not because of uh, the... Not because it's going to be strong, but it's because it... Oh, god damn it. Stuck on some concrete. Uh, yeah, it's not because it's strong, but it's because it gets stuck underneath us. Oh, that could have made life very difficult for you, but it didn't quite get in the right place in the right time. They're going to be running out of lives back there with some of those trucks. Some of those vehicles, I should say. The front, of my, the, the front end of this is pretty smashed up. Uh, oh, my brakes are no good anymore. My brakes are actually really starting to hurt. That's a concern, actually. Trying to run for 10 minutes and I am losing my brakes. So I can't really brake check anymore. I've lost the ability to do that, or I've certainly got to let them cool for a bit. Because I've, I've put a big turbo on this now. It's quite quick for a fire truck. Uh, oh! Yeah, I mean, that was a good hit. That is the sort of hit that I would want to have done, given an opportunity to do such a hit. The burn side would just peel the fender off. Uh, we're not so good coming up the hill. Go on, then. Out of the way. Ooh! <laughs> a little bit of lag. Little bit of lag going on for the I series. You can go towards those posts. Uh, the, the, the D series, the farmer's D series is trying. Not really done much. Our steering's a bit, a bit bent. Oh, the I series attacks the side, and that has honestly not done much. Oh, should have been more careful. Oh, hello, Widgeon. Okay, crashed, welded Widgeon there is fine. <laughs> I kind of just want it to go pigging off and hit something really solid. Oh, my brakes. My brakes are melting. Uh, I've lost a lot of braking performance at the moment. Oh! Yeah, they had to try something. Uh, they had to try something. Could you... Widgeon! Don't you dare get stuck. At least it's not the worst stuck it could be. Um, we're just going to wipe it along the wall. Oh, there it goes. I think that's got rid of it. Uh, right, Burnside, how would you like to go into a railing? Oh, that was a... Ouch. That was a real ouch. And now we have a Pazima that needs to visit some concrete. There's a widgeon. I think the widgeon might be on its final life. Uh, yeah, my, my braking issue is actually becoming a real problem. We have to go on this offensive because... I don't know how long have we got, time-wise. Not long. Three minutes to go. Uh... Oh, yeah, my brakes barely work. <laughs> That's a massive concern. We're now the chaser. The beast is on the hunt for a Pazima, I think it is. Come here. Actually, no, don't get goaded into it. It's tempting, but if my brakes are a massive problem, don't get goaded into chasing a purple car. Yeah, I don't need you. I don't want to get you. Oh! Oh, dearie me! <laughs> Actually, that's asking for trouble. <laughs> I don't know why. Shouldn't punt that. The uh, likelihood of that glitching up and causing a problem uh, like it has. Right, we'll pull that into the hopper. There we go. That's fine. That's worked. I'm alive. Oh, damn it. Did not quite make the turn I wanted to. There's... Oof. A big hit on an I-series. Uh, I-series. Pazima. The hopper. Oh, Everything broke. <laughs> Everything broke. <laughs> it broke. It broke so hard it broke the mod. There was a little bit of a lag and then it all broke. I think I'm going to call that one. Well, we had a minute and a half. I, You know, it's such a good chase. We're going to have to include it, but uh, I think we're going to kind of call it a tie in that we broke the game doing that one. The Lano says that I, don't, I think they would have struggled with the number of vehicles they had left, uh, to be honest, on that. It was a great fun chase. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, we wrecked havoc. But on it, by the end of the 10 minutes, my brakes are starting to get real dicey. But, uh, <laughs> oh, this thing is an absolute, absolute beast. 
So, with the first round being a victory for the Hunters, the second round being more given to me. There was barely any of them left by the end of it, uh, when the game kind of lagged and exploded. Uh, we move on to round three. I'm still with my fire truck with its big old turbo. The vehicles giving chase have vastly improved in strength and performance but same rules apply 10 minutes for me to try and survive which we are going to set off now uh, they have two respawns lado is lado has a truck and is tr currently trying to load uh aroma onto the back of it hello everyone that's well i will make the most of that farting around to uh, make my escape now i am scared the scintilla it's not going to be very strong right but it's very fast and again it's the wedge it, it, Peg is going for the wedge underneath the fire truck approach. It worked with the wedge in once, didn't work so well in the second time, but we'll see if the scintilla can. It's just going to be annoying until I can damage it enough to knock it out. And the bow lies a little bit along similar lines here. Uh, oh, and the other thing the scintilla can do is because it's quick, it can get close enough to me. If I'm trying to do the jousting, or if I'm trying to make a sudden corner, it will potentially try and oh, roll us over. Oh. Okay, yeah, you push that corner around. I need that, that back corner moved slightly so that I can uh, face the right direction. There we go. We'll swipe you into something. I don't quite know what that's going to try and do. Yeah, I would part there if I were you. Although it only... Oh, oh no, a little bit lag. Damn it. It's hoping would kill the scintilla or heavily damage the scintilla. Uh, we can push you towards fart hydrant. Uh, did some... Some work was done. Now, I've got to be careful here because I want to make a corner... Uh, well, I'm going this way. Not the way I wanted to go, but it's the way we are going. <laughs> Just a bundle of cars at this point. Uh, right. Fire truck, go. 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 And we are safe. The uh, the other the fire Roma is trying to stop us. It's not really worked too well yet. It has damaged my steering again. We're pulling to the left a bit. Not the worst it could be, but it's not ideal. Um, oh, that's a bump and a half. God, be careful. Okay, I'm worried about my wheels. Uh, I think we have definitely damaged some of the vehicles behind. Oh, <laughs> the purple truck tried to uh, take a shortcut and found a fire hydrant, I think, or a sign of some sort there. Now, do I go on the offensive is the question. I mean, if we can, it would be good if we could try and knock some vehicles out. There's no one down here. Uh, oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think it got stuck on the side of us. We carted it. Oh, I don't want to hit that head on. Jeez. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's a big truck. I know I'm heavy. and We're heavy duty and we're tough, but I really, really do not want to hit that. Uh, that is a concerning thing to come across. It might actually end up heading up this road to be, although it depends on if uh, Lado managed to get it stopped at the bottom is probably the better question. Oh! Oh, that's a good hit. That was a good hit from the fire rover. It's actually twisted a lot of my vehicle about. The chassis is not too bad, though. The chassis has remained... Oh, uh, no, no, no. There's a, there's a wheel that's not circle anymore. That's probably the most damage, well, most damage they've done until it got stuck in a petrol station. At that point, yeah, there was more damage done to that when it became a banana, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I could do with trying to pick some of them off. But I've not really seen any of them. There's, there's, oh, there's a scintilla. It's a repaired scintilla. Oh, my brakes are starting. I'm now driving this like a, well, like a car and the brakes are starting to fade. Now, they're not as bad as they were by the end of last time, but they're not great. Scintilla has bounced and spun around. Oh, Scintilla's got a bent wheel, or potentially buckled wheel. Yeah, that was not where you wanted to pull out. Oh, they got a tyre! I have lost a tyre. It's one of the rear tyres, though, so that's from the Scintilla pestering us, basically. Um, it's only a tyre, but if, if they keep going, that could start becoming a problem for us, really. Scintilla looks pretty wrecked at the moment. Well, that wasn't ideal. We'll give that a help. <laughs> oh, if you're going to crash directly in front of me, you know I'm going to help you have a bigger crash, given half a chance. Uh, oh! Okay, well, we did some heavy damage to that one. Oh, the purple vehicle has got going again. Uh, well, we can help it into something. I actually don't handle very well anymore. Uh, 
things are buckled and twisted. Oh, my brakes are starting to hurt pretty badly. That can visit a building. And that's that's now a wreck. Oh, make a corner. The fire Roma is waiting for its moment to shine, I think. It's waiting to try and pick a moment to uh, roll us. Uh, I don't know if I want to go here. Did not want to go here, but we're going this way anyway. Uh, that's fine. It will make it difficult for them giving chase to navigate towards me. They've definitely done considerably more damage this time out. And you can visually see how much more damage there is going on on this, but the handling is way worse. It crabs about. Uh, it really does not make life easy. Where is that going? I mean, it's going to be waiting for one of these corners. Because this is where it could roll us. If it can get to the inside. You see, we have all right acceleration. It's, it's, it's buzzing around. I don't want to get pit maneuvered by it. I do want to put it into some concrete, and that shredded the front of it. Hello. Out of the way. Oh, that truck is going to hurt. No. <laughs> Dodged Lano's truck. Uh, we took a hit from the green D-series. Oh, we're going to go sideways. There's that I-series, I think it is. That, uh, I mean, I want it to stop, because honestly, it's always funny wrecking the little cars when you have the beast. But it, has oh, no, it hasn't turned off. I-series, come here. Come here. Uh, I mean, I, my, my, my bloodlust to try and kill it might get the better of me. We are out of control with that shredded tyre and buckled chassis. Um, okay, well, I don't really want to go up the hill, because up the hill is a problem. Oh, good hit from the purple vehicle. Uh, it did not do enough to stop us, but it was a good hit, and again, another great hit. Oh, he just saved it. That was some counter-steer at the right time. They've had a crash on their own. Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, Lado's on fire. That Lado is on fire at the moment. That is not the thing to hit. That has done serious damage to the front end of mine. It's actually really buckled my steering up as well. We have definitely... We definitely know we've been in a fight this time around. The scintilla is parked. The scintilla may be out. Uh, that D-series is an absolute mess. I mean, how long have I got to try and survive? We've still got two, nearly three minutes to go. Um, oh... Don't go into the bus stop. There we go. We have murdered, potentially, that's the end of the D-series. That green one, or that life for the green one. We might have actually managed to get away as well. I don't know how many are still running. There is something down there that might see us. I think that's the fire roamer. Oh, okay. We're an absolutely battered mess at the moment. Everything's buckled and twisted and doesn't go in a straight line anymore, but we are still going. I can hear something. I just don't know where it is. Uh, we can climb the hill up here. Yeah, that whole... My whole rear right wheel is at a terrible angle. The front has got a massive chunk taken out of it. <laughs> I mean, th there is so much... So part of the reason why this is so good for this is there's so much bodywork around the front. There's so much bodywork, like bumper, between the front of the truck and the engine that it means it can survive a lot of hits. The radiator doesn't get knackered. Um, as you can see, you see how much has all been pushed in, but it hasn't got to the radiator yet. Uh, oh, there was a car going across the uh, <laughs> across to the left-hand side. Oh, oh. Well, Longbow's had a bad day. <laughs> Oh, okay, we don't turn very well to the right anymore. Oh. Okay, I can't turn that way. I was going to do a joust against the uh, fire vehicle. Yes, come here, fire vehicle. Bolide, out of the way. I do not need you interrupting the joust. Oh, no, Bolide's actually kind of screwed us. I have some serious problems now with the chassis of this. We can still move, but it's not very well. The bolide is limping. The fire, the fire roam is out. Um, no, I don't want to go that way. That's like a weird tunnel. Don't want to go down there. 
Oh, I meant to be in not manual. Don't want manual gearbox. Oh no, Lado! Oh no! R Lado recovery service is here! That is actually quite scary because that's what did a lot of the damage to me. Uh, I genuinely now have to run because I'm in a very poorly fire truck and that could do significant damage to us. Um, there is the green Ro the green Roma T-Series, whatever it was. Oh, Lado's not going to do it! The time is up! We have made it. The time is up. The fire truck survives. We killed almost all of them. The only uh, exception, I think, really being Lado at this point. Though that, that thing did a serious number on the front end of this. Uh, the bolide also actually did a massive hit towards the end there that nearly gave us a lot of trouble right there. Uh, the fire truck is a mess and is barely working, but it held together. Somehow, <laughs> it held together. This unlimited round. Oh, here we go. Ladder recovery service is here to try and scoop up the bro. I, th I think you need a bigger flatbed, if I'm honest. We probably need to do this on a flat bit of road. There's no way physics is going to hate this at all, is there? Uh, the flatbed is a bit bent. I don't know if that's going to go underneath my, the front end of mine. To be honest, this is just a physics ball waiting to happen. Uh, no. Can we try? Okay, we're going to try reverse onto it. One of the ladders has nearly fallen off as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't actually know the ladders could fall off this. Right. Ah. The overhang. The overhang. It's, it's funnily enough, not really working. But yes, we will go on to the unlimited round. I'm actually quite scared. I'm actually quite concerned. Because, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be tough for me. It is. Why are we wobbling? Oh. Are, <laughs> that does not look wobbly? safe. <laughs> that doesn't look safe. What is going well, you're on? We're just wiggling. <laughs> we are. Is, we yes. are. That is. We are the most superior. <laughs> what the hell? What Why jelly you? physics is that this? Is, <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> You're fine on my screen, but you just like wiggle. Oh, it's worse than oh. Snowrunner. <laughs> Let me try and see if. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, let's maybe not do that. <laughs> so it is the final round. The vehicles giving chase, well, they are much more unlimited this time out. We have, well, the drag hoppers back, of course. We have heavily armored and. I say modified D-Series is a drag D-Series over there. Heavily modified Grand Marshal. Longbow sticking with the bow line. He's gone for a race car this time. I don't ask. I don't know what's going to happen over there. Probably nothing good with the vehicles on top of each other. But, yeah. Now, <sighs> we have the same rules as last time. As in, oh, and my timer has just gone off my phone. There we go. So, they have the same rules in that they are allowed two respawns. They are allowed... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, nothing good is the answer. Uh, yeah, we get two lives. Oh, two, two respawns, so three lives in total. Um, my fears are all to do with getting torpedoed in a corner, right? It would lose one of their lives, sure. But we've seen how vulnerable this is to being rolled over. And that is the legit fear that we have. A drag, one of the drag vehicles would try and torpedo us and flip us. Uh, which is why I'm hugging the concrete right there to make it difficult uh, to flip us. Oh, yeah, you can bump the back of me, it won't do anything. I'm actually a little bit concerned about Lado's vehicle as well. We saw the damage that that one there could bring uh, when we hit the front of it. We don't want to get too many hits from it. The beast, I mean the beast's tough. I know we'll struggle to kill it. Uh, but it is not quite as fearsome in terms of dishing out damage as... Oh! Okay, we've gone for a spin. Uh, have we stalled? Yes, yes we did. Okay, that's fine. It was a little inconvenient. Uh, hey, Lado. <laughs> now we have the momentum. <laughs> now we have the momentum on this fight. Where is Lado going to go? Oh! Well, Lado's been disintegrated. And that was the fear. 
that was always the fear. In the oh. <laughs> it's bad. well, I mean, like technically speaking, they have stopped me. <laughs> It just looks like a scene from an apocalypse film. Oh, jeez. Yeah, technically speaking, the beast has been stopped. But no survivors, really. No, no survivors were had here. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, uh, that, that was the scary thing, though. That was always the problem. That was always the concern. Uh, is that it would just these things would be strong enough that they could tip me over and yeah sure enough the fire truck is upside down <laughs> oh but the good thing is at least we got the cab off Lado's van that's the bit that matters in all of this right <laughs> well there we go that is going to be it for this for this video oh it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun thank you all very much for watching and of course a big thank you to amy for setting up all the beam multiplayer server stuff for this that though it's gonna be it from me until next time a goodbye <laughs>